Hey, it's Ayr Bit here and welcome to another video about getting started with Bit. In this video, we'll start touching how can we start sharing components, collaborating around components. We'll start by creating a scope and uh, I'll be using the Bit Cloud service. However, Bit is open source and if needed, you can set up your own scope server to host components. Just head over the documentation and find the scope section. It explains to you what is a scope, how to use scopes on Bit Cloud, how to use your own internal scopes, configure them, hosting them in scale, using remote scope and so on. We have made sure that all components uh, will be in the same scope called their workspace under my personal account. And we see here that for this component, that this is in fact the case. So let me copy the scope name here as I go and create a new scope on, on, under my account. Okay, and let's, this scope is for getting started demos. And let's change some colors and let's set the scope to be public. Okay, click on create. And now I'm creating my new scope. The next step before we can actually go ahead and export components is to authenticate our local environment. And for this, our workspace, we can use the bit login command. It has several features. In this case, I will use, uh, I will suppress the automated launch for a browser just to make sure that I'm targeting the right browser, targeting the right account. But as you see here, you run bit login, you get a quick URL you can use, paste it. And essentially, bit will try to then authenticate your local system with a token from the remote. And as you see here, I'm authenticated under my account. Bit also reconfigures correctly my NPMRC file, which we will touch this later as we go into you know, installing uh, components as dependencies. And now essentially we are ready to export. Thank you very much.